Good morning. Look at the things around me. Cat, water, plants, television, handphone, oil, pen. They have two things in common. First, they have mass. Second, they have volume or they occupy space. So, they are matter. Today, we are going to learn about matter. In the end of this lesson, you are going to state that almost everything that exists in nature is matter. Proof that living things and non-living things have mass and occupy space differentiate the physical properties and chemical properties of matter, classify materials by the different characteristics. What is matter? Matter is a substance, living or non-living thing, which has mass and occupies space. All living things, including humans, plants and animals, are classified as matter. Non-living things such as water, soil, rocks, are also matter. Heat, light, sound and shadow do not have mass and do not occupy space, so they are non-matter. Is air matter? To answer to this question, Let's carry out a simple activity. Both the balloons are filled with air. Notice that the ruler is balanced equally by the balloon on both ends. One of the balloons is pricked with a pin. And let's see what happens. Air escapes when the balloon is pierced. The ruler loses its balance as the balloon loses mass. It then tilts towards the balloon with more mass. This shows that air has mass. The balloon expands when you blew them up. This shows that air occupies space. So air has mass and air occupies space. Therefore, Air is matter. Other than air, most things in the world also have mass and they also occupy space, so they are matter. The characteristics that enable us to distinguish one substance from another are called properties. Every matter has its own physical properties and chemical properties. What is physical properties of matter? Physical properties are the properties that can be identified by using our five senses or measuring tools. What is five senses? Five senses, for example, you can see with your eye, you can smell with your nose, you can touch with your hand, you can listen with your ears, and you can taste with your tongue. Physical properties are the characteristics of matter that is not associated with a change in its chemical composition. Color is an example of physical property. We can see color with our eyes. For example, this is red color, this is blue color. Mass is another example of physical property. We can obtain mass from the reading of the balance. Another example of physical property is magnetism. This is a magnet. Copper has magnetic property. It is attracted by a magnet. Plastic does not have magnetic property. It is not attracted by a magnet. Another example of physical property is heat conductivity. 
This is a glass of hot water. If I place a metal spoon inside and I feel with my hand, I can feel that the spoon is hot because metal spoon is a heat conductor. If I place a plastic spoon inside, I can't feel the heat because plastic is an insulator of heat. Other examples of physical properties are melting point, boiling point, density and solubility. What is melting point? The melting point of ice is the temperature at which ice changes into liquid at a certain pressure. We can measure melting point by using a thermometer. Different liquids have different boiling points. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Different substances have different densities and sugar can dissolve in coffee. Next, let's look at chemical properties of matter. To identify chemical properties, we look for a chemical change. A chemical change always produces one or more types of matter that differ from the matter present before the change. The new substance produced from the chemical reaction has different composition from its original substance. For example, rusting occurs on iron when it is exposed to water and air. Rusting is a chemical property. The formation of rust is a chemical change because rust is a different kind of matter than the iron, oxygen and water present before the rust form. Another example of chemical property is flammability. Petrol is a flammable material. Petrol easily sets fire when exposed to heat in the presence of oxygen. Matter can be classified according to their physical and chemical properties. Today, you are going to learn about the classification of materials using their physical properties. Every material has its own physical properties or characteristics. We can classify various materials based on their characteristics in terms of solubility, density, melting point and boiling point. Next, let's look at density. The density of a material is the mass per unit volume of that material. Density determines the ability of a material to float or sink in water. A material that has a lower density will float, while a material that has a higher density will sink. We can use density to classify objects. For example, glycerol is denser than water, mercury is denser than petrol, sand is denser than water, oil is denser than cork. Let's do a simple experiment to study density. This is water. This is oil. Oil floats on water because oil is less dense than water. Then I put some pebbles inside and pebbles sinks in water because pebbles is denser than water. For melting point and boiling point, melting point is the temperature at which a substance changes from solid to liquid. For example, ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius. Boiling point is the temperature at which a substance changes from liquid to gas. For example, pure water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Every material has its own fixed melting point and boiling point at atmospheric pressure. Therefore, substances can be classified by their melting point and boiling point. For example, copper. The melting point of copper is 
1085 degrees Celsius and the boiling point of copper is 2562 degrees Celsius. Oxygen, the melting point is negative 218 degrees Celsius and the boiling point is negative 183 degrees Celsius. For solubility, solubility is the ability of a substance to dissolve in a given amount of solvent to form a solution. The solubility of a substance depends on the physical and chemical properties of its own solute and solvent. As different substances have different solubility, matter can also be classified by its solubility. For example, we can classify substances by their solubility in water. Salt, sugar, acid and alkali, they are soluble in water. Whereas sand, metal, paper and glass, they cannot dissolve in water. Okay, let's talk about solubility. So this is a glass of water. This is sugar. If I put some sugar inside, So sugar is the solute and the water is the solvent. As you can see, sugar dissolves in water to form a solution. So sugar dissolves in water. Next, I put some salt inside and stir. So salt is the solute and water is the solvent. Salt is also dissolved in water. Next, I put some pebbles. So, as you can see, pebble does not dissolve in water. And I put a coin inside. So, the coin does not dissolve in water too. Next, let's answer a few questions. Sarah turns over an empty beaker into a basin of water. She finds that the water cannot flow into the beaker. What can you conclude from her observation? The conclusion is air occupies space. Therefore, water cannot enter the beaker. Identify each of the situation below whether it is a chemical or physical property of matter. Then, state the process involved. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It is a physical property and the process involved is boiling. Ice cream melts when exposed to a certain temperature. It is a physical property and the process involved is melting. Paper burns when it is lit. This is a chemical property and the process involved is combustion. Iron spoon becomes hot when it is put in a cup of hot coffee. This is a physical property and the process involved is heat conductivity. Iron key rust when it is exposed to air and water. It is a chemical property and the process involved is rusting. Medicine tablet dissolves in water, so it is a physical property, and the process involved is solubility. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.